I'm Brian Thomas. A very warm welcome to the show. We start here in Berlin, where Chancellor Angela Merkel has apologized for being out of touch with voters. Her government has been embroiled in a dispute over a controversial domestic intelligence chief. There was a public outcry after he was fired and then promoted with a hefty pay increase. So Merkel and her coalition allies went back to the negotiating table for another round of wrangling. Now, a new deal has been announced that includes no promotion and no increase in pay. Admitting a mistake and then apologizing for it is something you rarely see in German politics. But that's what German Chancellor Angela Merkel did when she called last week's personnel decision about Hans-Georg Maaßen unconvincing. In last Tuesday's decision, I was too focused on the workings of the Interior Ministry. And I gave too little consideration to what people think, rightly so, when they hear that someone is getting promoted. I deeply regret that this could happen. The night before, Interior Minister Seehofer delivered the compromise over the future of Germany's soon-to-be former domestic intelligence chief. The current president of the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution, Hans-Georg Maaßen, will henceforth serve as special advisor to the interior minister, with the rank of department head. There he will be responsible for European and international matters. Last week, there were calls for Hans-Georg Maaßen to be sacked, after he apparently downplayed recent anti-migrant violence in the city of Chemnitz. He was to be removed from his post, and then to get a promotion in the Interior Ministry. That sparked widespread public anger, prompting new negotiations between Angela Merkel's CDU, their Bavarian sister party, the CSU, led by Horst Seehofer, and the Social Democrats. SPD leader Andrea Nahles gave her reaction in Berlin following Seehofer's announcement. I have spoken again with the CDU and CSU leaders. I think that it's a very good sign that we took the criticism of our decision on Tuesday seriously and could resolve it. I would like to thank Angela Merkel and Horst Seehofer for taking up my initiative. An initiative that, in theory at least, should spell the end of the Maaßen crisis and help lift the latest cloud over Angela Merkel's government.